time. Welcome back to this Monday edition of Focal Point on AFR Talk. Brian Fisher is my name. In studio with me is Fred Jackson, who's the news director at One News Now, our news site. Encourage you to go there, onenewsnow.com. Make that your default source for news, uh, evaluated, uh, screen filtered through a biblical worldview, same way we do content here on Focal Point. And Fred, we were talking just before the break about the ministry of Luis Ramirez, a man who's totally blind now, came to faith in Christ through the ministry of Transworld Radio. And it was either he uh, or Pastor Alex that told us, I think it was Luis Ramirez, that he knows 300 people himself who have been saved through the ministry of Transworld Radio. So powerful, powerful effect. And we're going to talk in just a minute more specifically about Transworld Radio or TWR. But we had the privilege... Uh, to attend a house church, and there are maybe 5,000 house churches, a minimum of 5,000 house churches in the country of, of Cuba. And uh, Alberto Gonzalez is, uh, is, is sort of, a, I don't know, he's almost an iconic figure to these mm-hmm. pastors because of his stature, because of his visibility. He has a program on Transworld Radio. And so it's, a, it's a, such an honor for these, these members of these house churches to meet him because they hear him on the radio, and then when he comes to visit them, it's a real treat for them. And Alberto Gonzalez, in this next soundbite, he talks a little bit about church planting in the country of Cuba. Let's listen. It's impossible for us to have Christian radios from Cuba. They look for looking at the dial and other for any because they need that. And when I began to to broadcast my program, I began to receive a lot of letters. I am receiving more than a thousand letters every year. And they, they not only listen my program, they listen the whole transmission on Transfer Radio in Spanish. Many people have been become Christian because of that. And we have a special churches planted just listening radio. And now they have a church. They have missions established around the church. They are doing a wonderful work, humble people, knowing nothing, just listening radio. A tremendous effect of Transworld Radio on building these churches, a, a minimum of 5,000 of these house churches around uh, the country of Cuba. And Fred, why don't you describe a little bit the one that we were able to visit, starting with the the, the, the baptism and then the, the house church worship experience. We went as far east as you mentioned in Santiago, which is the second biggest city uh, in Cuba. We then moved west along the southern coast of Cuba. So we're driving through this fairly rural area, And we turn on to this dirt driveway, uh, potholes, it's rough, and we have to move along. And we come up on what I would describe as kind of a compound and a beautiful yellow paint on it. And it is a church, Iglesia, I believe it is. My Spanish isn't very good. And this is the, uh, the church that was started by Pastor Alex. And he's a fairly young man. He worked in one of the local hotels for a while. Uh, but uh, was was saved and uh, started a church there. And he has a church of, uh, I guess it's seats, it's attached to his house. Well, it's in this his church. house. It's in, it, fact, yeah. <laughs> in fact, as he explained it, or, or somebody, I think it was uh, maybe uh, Alberto Gonzalez explained, he's got a house that basically got two rooms in it. Yes. And he has dedicated one of the two rooms in uh-huh. his house to serve as a church. So his family lives in the other room. Yeah. And th- this church, it, yeah, it, it's a, it's literally a house church. He's got pews in there uh-huh. and the whole bit. It, it was just fascinating. And, and the dear people who came. Now, I do not speak Spanish. I don't think you may speak a little Spanish. But uh, they just opened their arms literally to us. This was such a big event for Christians uh, from the United States. And their 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 leader, their quasi-leader, Alberto, coming to visit them. And uh, they put on quite a spread for us, Brian, that evening. Oh. Well, they had this uh, <laughs> this giant pig roasting out there when we got there, and mm. it was, uh, I mean, succulent is the word. It was tasty. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, you know, I noticed that it had it on the spit, and it was over the fire. and it By was, hand. It was rotating. <laughs> And I got to thinking after a while, how's that thing? Because, you know, in the, in the U.S., we're used to things kind of being mechanically uh, operated. And it turns out that they had guys sitting behind a tree. Working one-hour shifts. Yeah, and one-hour shifts manually rotating that thing. But it was yeah. tasty. And, we, you know, we were so honored to be there. Uh, but they just put out this spread for us because they were so thankful that we would come and visit. But, again, uh, we were so touched and so humbled 
has some of the church members got up to give their testimony of the importance of Transworld Radio in their lives. I remember one young man got up and through translation, uh, what I understood was that he now felt called, and, and again, it's so humbling uh, for us who were visiting there. He said, I got saved and the importance of Transworld Radio, but he says, now I'm a missionary. Their immediate, it, it's, it, it, it's like is taught in, in Scripture, when we get saved, we're not supposed to keep that good news to ourselves. But these people understand it instinctively. When they got saved through the preaching they heard on Transworld Radio, the first thing I want to do is I want to go out and tell people about it. You know, and, one of the really cool things there, Fred, is we uh, got to go to a, a baptism that was connected yes. to this house church. Mm. And Alberto baptized uh, five believers, brand new believers. He explained the significance of baptism before he took them into the waters. And then they went out just some distance off the shore yeah. in the waters of the, the Caribbean off the, off the shore of Cuba uh -huh. and baptized four or five brand new believers in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It was a delight to see. It, it was very touching. And, uh, you know, it was just... And we... we we saw these stories repeated over and over again and the importance of the gospel and how the gospel is treasured and the source of the gospel, Transworld Radio, how that is treasured, how important it is to those people. Well, we, you know, we, have, we have so much, so much access to the gospel. I mentioned uh, to the group, you know, in, in the town in which we live, there are something like 60 Baptist churches within a five-mile radius. They, these folks don't have that kind of established mm -hmm. uh, Christianity there. And uh, the times of fellowship, the word of preaching of the word of God is so, so precious to them. Mm. Well, and we see in, in Cuba, and I want to talk for a few minutes here in the time we got left, Fred, about the work of Transworld Radio. We were there as their guests, and they kind of showed us what they are about. And what you really see in Cuba is the power of radio. And I mean, this is I think a lesson for us that are part of the AFR family to understand something of the significance of what we do. You know, I get letters. In fact, I have two letters today, Fred, from people who are behind bars, inmates behind bars who listen to AFR because that's one of the things that they uh, can access. So what you see with, with AFR and what you see with Transworld Radio is the capacity of radio to go behind, beyond, around, over, under, any kind of man-made barriers, whether they're political or social or cultural, with the radio, you can get the message of God's Word just about around or over any barrier uh, that exists, and that's what we saw in Cuba. We had an opportunity to go to the, the island of Bonaire, which is off the coast of Venezuela, about 50 miles uh, north of Venezuela in the Caribbean. It's part of a string of islands, Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire. It's a destination for scuba divers and snorkelers from all over the world. We spent part of an afternoon snorkeling there. Absolutely beautiful. The water is clear. Uh, the water is warm. It, that was that was a real treat. But that's where the headquarters of TWR are located. And they have four towers, 450 feet, 59 feet high. Mm -hmm. And those have to constantly be maintained. They got to be sanded down. They got to be repainted uh, because of the salt air kind of and, and, and what it does to the, the structure. And I couldn't believe it, but they got guys that free climb these things. They, they free climb all the way up there. They're not tethered in until they get up to the top <laughs> and start working on the deal. That just gave me just a That's not my calling. Cold sweat. <laughs> no, I'm glad there are some people that can do that. But anyway, and, and, and they've got these four towers there mm -hmm. uh, transmitting 100,000 uh, kilowatts, which is twice the size of any AM station in America. And they're looking to boost their signal to 450,000. They're uh, be going to begin to launch a fundraising project in order to get that done, if they can get that signal up to 450,000, they'll be able to get their signal all the way uh, uh, beyond Havana. Right now, they barely reach Havana. Some people in Havana can occasionally get their signal, but Havana is the major population center in Cuba. They'll be able to saturate uh, the city of Havana and go beyond almost, I think, completely to the western end uh, of Cuba. And so we don't know how many Alberto Gonzalez's there may be, how many Luis Ramirez's, you know, how many... Uh, Alex's there are that are ready and waiting to hear the gospel of Christ and just haven't gotten that signal in a language that they can understand. So that's, um, you know, so, so we saw what uh, Transworld Radio is up to, and it is, it's a great thing. And this is interesting that we went because this is the 50th anniversary this year of Transworld uh, Radio, and so it was a privilege to see their operation up close and personal. And how important this is uh, once they get up that 450,000 kilowatts, uh, potential listening audience 
of 100 million people. Just stop and think about that. As you mentioned, uh, the, their signal will get beyond Havana, almost to the western side of, of Cuba. And also, they penetrate down into South America. Their signal will go further than it is now into uh, Brazil uh, from that point. And, of course, up into the Dominican Republic, into Haiti, and all of those areas. So important. It's really neat. We were there. Uh, they go on the air at 5.30, Bonaire time, that uh, 800 a.m. goes on the air. And we were there the night when the transmitter switched on at 5.30. And they broadcast first usually into the northern part of South America. And then as the evening goes on, the, the signal switches around and it's directed out towards Cuba and towards those countries to the west. Just a fascinating ministry, Transworld well, you know, Radio. And, and I noticed that you look at the footprint of their signal, and it doesn't really cover Central America. Mm. And so I asked uh, Joe Barker, who's the station manager there, extremely capable guy. That station's in great hands with him at the helm. And why don't they orient the signal toward Central America? And I said, well, there are other ministries that are sending a radio signal mm -hmm. into Central America. So we don't see any need to duplicate that. We want to take the gospel of Christ through Transworld Radio to places that have not mm -hmm. got a radio signal in, in, in their area. So anyway, I uh, appreciate you, Fred, taking some time to drop by and uh, yeah. talk about it. It was a great experience. Uh, found out that ham and cheese sandwiches are extremely <laughs> popular when you're traveling. The only Spanish I learned was jamón y queso. What kind of sandwich you want? Ham and cheese, jamón y queso. So that part, that much Spanish I knew. One other interesting thing. So many classic cars in Cuba. Oh, You know, if you love classic cars, I mean 40s, 50s cars that are decked out, cherry condition, uh, that's the place to go. Just driving around, and almost all of the taxis in Havana <laughs> were classic cars. So that was kind of a delight for car bus. Absolutely. All right, well, that's a little report on our trip to uh, Cuba and to Bonaire with, as guests of Transworld Radio. And again, we thank them for their uh, hospitality and excited about uh, the work that they're doing. And you may hear uh, more from us about TWR uh, in the future. Anyway, that's it for this segment of Focal Point and AFR Talk. We'll be back with another. Take your phone calls when we come back after these brief messages. Again, Fred, thanks for sitting in. Good to be here. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Focal Point AFR Talk.